Hi guys, happy Saturday and welcome back to week two, season two of Staying Salty. My name is Hannah, if you don't remember, and I post on Saturdays. I got cystic fibrosis. See, I've got cystic fibrosis. This week's topic is body shame, scars, and self-acceptance. <coughs> Please excuse the coughing and the short of breath, shortness of breath. I'm not feeling the best right now, but I'm going to do the best I can because this topic is something that's really important to me. So we'll start with scars, which are the thing that... Yikes. It's very hard to breathe. I got this. Starting with scars which is the thing that bothers me the least as a person with cystic fibrosis. Aside from things that you get when you're little, like bicycle scars and, you know, getting warts frozen off, uh, my first major scars were pick line scars. And these are 40, around 40 centimeter long tubes that are implanted into or inserted into a big vein in your bicep usually. And they're threaded through that vein and they exit that vein near your heart and they're able to be left in for weeks or months at a time so that you can receive antibiotics for long periods of time and it's really great for people with CF or people with cancer anyone who needs antibiotics for a long period of time the only issue with those is that they kinda are a pain to put in but the scars, I never really cared about that much. After that, I got my port scar, which is right here. I named her Lucille, and I got Lucille in the summer of 2015. She's a little bubble that sits in my chest so that we can just stick her with a short needle and get IVs whenever we need to. Uh, the procedure went great. She's a little tricky to access because she likes to move around in my chest. You know, if you grab her, you can kind of wiggle her around but I love having a port. It makes getting IVs so much easier. And I don't like choose what I want to wear based on what covers up, you know, me having a port or what covers up the scar or the bump. Like I wear whatever tops I want. I wear whatever bathing suits I want. It really doesn't matter to me. Even, even when it's access, like um, covering up a dressing is not a factor for me. I just don't really have any shame. I'm a pretty confident person in that regard, and I wasn't always that way, but I am now. I don't have any other scars on my whole body except for bike scars, wart scars, pick line scars, and a port scar. I've had some sinus surgeries, like four or five, but they all do that inside your nostril, so no scars there either. So that's why scars aren't too big of a deal for me. I'm a confident person and I don't have that many. That brings us to the next part of the video because while I don't have that many scars and that it doesn't really affect me that much, I have been in my life affected a lot by being angry with my body and being ashamed of my body um, for a lot of different reasons. And I do want to share that with you guys because we're still too little, but society tells us that we are still too big, it's very confusing. And this is an issue that I want to address <coughs> specifically for girls with CF because, excuse me, <coughs> it can be such a hard thing <coughs> to deal with when you are clinically underweight and your healthcare team tells you to gain weight and on the other side you either like the way you look or think that you need to lose weight. It is an inner battle and you don't know if you should listen to science or yourself because you seem fine and you want to be finer. Um, <clears throat> it's something I went through a lot in middle school and high school. I remember this specific month um, in high school where I would try to only eat 
once a day and it would be like a really small portion of something um like my mom would pack me something to take to school and I would throw it away and this only lasted again like a month and it wasn't diagnosed anything um but it was really scary and I felt really bad really tired and dizzy and cold and I didn't like it <laughs> um and it was just because I had gotten sick and I had lost weight and I had started to like the way that I looked and my doctors were telling me to gain weight and I got the idea that if I liked the way I looked maybe I should lose weight and that's not the right mindset at all because if you are healthy you can like the way that you look and I'm currently underweight and like I like the way I look but I am actively eating a lot trying to gain weight and working out like lifting muscle and working out trying to gain weight and once I gain enough weight I will then like how I look even more and I know that so please don't take my earlier actions as you know role model actions because you should not do that it's not healthy it's not good for you this is what I want you guys to do I want you to love yourselves when you are healthy because when you're healthy you can do the things that you want to do and you can be the person that you want to be and this doesn't just go for girls this goes for anybody for boys for non-gender binary people with CF <clears throat> if you really want to love yourself and your body and have body acceptance you need to know what it needs and it needs food and it needs exercise and it needs rest and that is how you love it not by looking at it or counting bones who made that up the internet don't do that please moving away from weight I just wanted to talk about some other things that I've had to come to terms with this has been going on for a while but no matter like how frequently I shower or this has been going on for a while but no matter how frequently I shower or what products I use I've always had like shoulder like back knee and like chest knee I don't really have it right now um, and recently I've had like breakouts on my chin and I usually do a good job of not picking but recently I've been really stressed and I've been in a really kind of bad bout of depression and anxiety and I'll show you now what happens when I spend a lot of time picking and it's not pretty and my skin hurts um, and the reason I'm bringing this into a cystic fibrosis video is because my anxiety and depression are related to and or exacerbated by my chronic physical illness which is cystic fibrosis I'm gonna move you guys down so that I can show you the thing I hate the most about my body with my CF. And it's this. This is my normal stance when I'm not even thinking about it. When I'm doing yoga, I try to do this. I really try to do this. If I'm in an interview, I try to do this. But if I'm just at a computer, not even thinking about it, it's this. And I hate it because standing up, you know, it shows that my stomach isn't that big. It's actually quite small, but with the CF bloating, it makes it look bigger. But with this, it's just the rounded shoulders because my chest is so strong because of all the coughing. My muscles are really strong and that pulls my shoulders forward. My back is really weak because of all of the coughing, so everything just gets pulled and it makes me look ugly and weak and I don't like it. <coughs> and I am actively working on it, but I just don't really know how. I try to stretch every day on a Pilates mat and I'm looking for other options, but I feel like they're just hard to come by. I don't know. This. This would be awesome if you guys had any tips for getting rid of the CF slouch. If you could leave them in the comments because everything else 
that I have mentioned so far, I have come to terms with. Maybe not come to love, but I don't hate any part of my body except for my slouch. So if you guys have any tips on that, I would love to know them. And yeah, that was a lot of personal body information. And I think we're just gonna leave it at that. Please, please, please subscribe to Staying Salty if you haven't already. Um, so that we can help more people and touch more lives and share our stories. And if my story touched you, please share it. Give it a thumbs up. And a fun fact is I actually have my own YouTube channel right here. It's called Hannah Breathes, which is also my username on most of my other social media platforms. And I also post on Saturdays over there, so I will link today's video right here for you guys to click on, so you can go watch it right now. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Your support, I can't even tell you what it does for me in these weeks when I feel so down and dark. I really love you a lot. So we have a rest day tomorrow and staying salty. Season two, week three, we'll be back on Monday with Miranda. Bye guys.